So on the EQ Adventure, we had a challenging and very fun drive across California. We got a real chance to figure out how to live with an electric vehicle. But our journey isn't quite over. Now I am back in India and we're taking this journey forward for a very special reason. Now you remember that in California, I actually had two other colleagues with me. So there's three of us on that drive. Now they're not here, but there's now three cars here for the drive. That's right, we've got the entire EQ range that's here in India. The very latest one to arrive, the flagship and the one that started it all. So now we're going to mount another journey over here and we're going to take you to a special place. So you'll see just what the experience of using these cars here in India is all about. And of course, I'm going to start with the car I haven't driven in a while. So the EQC is the first member of the Mercedes EQ family. It arrived in 2019. Well, late 2018 as a 2019 model. That's when, of course, we got it in India too. It's been around for a while. It's actually done better than what people expected in terms of customer response, not just here, but worldwide. The EQC uses an 80 kilowatt hour battery and depending on which cycle you follow can give you a range of anywhere from 360 to about 420 kilometers. Now, given the fact that it was an early model, that was actually very good range. Ever since then, Mercedes has done a lot of work in terms of battery management and in fact, working with different kinds of batteries as well. So, of course, things have gone even better, even more high-tech. The EQC uses an 80 kilowatt hour battery and that means the driving range is anywhere from about 360 to about 420 kilometers, which is pretty good. Remember that this was the early model from the EQ family. And on performance too, there are two motors here in play and so you get a good amount of power and you get 700 Nm of peak torque. So we're at our destination. The distance we've driven, about 250 kilometers, which may not seem like a whole lot in the context of how much we drove with these two cars in the US, right? Yep, it might seem like peanuts, but our traffic has its own quirks and its own challenges. So it was still quite the experience. And of course I hopped around and drove all the cars as well. But where am I and why have we come here? Well, when you think about these cars and you think about the direction that even Mercedes-Benz is going with its EQ strategy, the entire conversation goes beyond just the products. It's also about sustainability. It's also about a greener tomorrow, right? That's where this whole conversation started. And that is also where it needs to culminate. So very aptly then, I'm at a massive 100 acre solar farm. Well, solar power plant, if you want to call it that. This is the JBM power plant. And you can see acres and acres of these solar panels with a massive capacity of 20 megawatt. Now, when it comes to all the conversation around EVs, which of course has become bigger and noisier in many ways, especially in the media, right? You pick up a lot of voices talking about the source of energy, the power itself. So it's very nice to have a green car, the green mode of transport, but what about the power you're using to charge it? Well, that's where locations like this will make increasingly a big, big difference because going forward, you're gonna see many such locations coming up and it's only going to expand sources of renewable energy. It is a big area of concern for the government as well. And all the automakers are sort of watching that space very keenly. Speaking of renewable power though, there is a little bit of renewing that kind of happens on board as well. You know what I'm talking about. It's regeneration, the regen energy that you pick up while driving. And it is very different in all three cars. They actually have different modes. I mean, on the EQC where it first started, we saw the D minus minus mode as well, where you can go max regen, single pedal. But then now the technology has also progressed where on cars like this, you actually have the auto mode where the car and the software on board are gauging not just your driving style, but also the conditions you're driving in and giving you optimal regeneration, more range. 
And for those people who aren't used to electric cars or don't believe what I'm saying because they haven't experienced one, I can tell you that it does make a huge difference. I mean, there were places in the US where we were driving the EQB, going downhill for a few miles and picked up as much as 50, maybe 60, and even 70 miles. That's miles. Today, of course, while driving here, all three cars did pick up a fair number of kilometers too. The Mercedes-Benz electric range has been a delight to drive, right from the beautiful landscapes of California to the lush green vineyards in Napa, and finally here in India, where the EV revolution is accelerating at a steady pace. I thank you for joining us on this exciting drive and hope to see you soon with another EQ adventure. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any queries, do write in a comment below and we'll get back to you soon.